What's up guys? Welcome to Pug Camper. This is Jonathan and Prince is back there walking around as you guys can see. Today we're going to take our Tesla to uh, this backcountry site in Alberta. It's actually called Public Land Zone, I think, around Ghost Lake. So we're going to go there and uh, I'm going to sleep in the Tesla tonight using the camp mode. This place that we're going to go is about 97 kilometers away from where I am right now. So. Um, it should take me about an hour and 15 20 minutes to get there I really want to see how the energy consumption is in this car because as you know I will be taking this car out camping a lot from now on the batteries obviously is an issue just like your your gas and all that stuff but I don't really know this car well enough to like take this out for you know whatever and all that stuff so I'm gonna show you the energy chart right now right here let's see if i can focus on that real quick there you go right now it's at 97 percent and the projected uh, mileage is at 400 kilometers and this is based on the previous 50 kilometers driving um data the the drive back and forth you know about 200 kilometers is going to be pretty much using half of this uh energy so i'm assuming that i'll need 50 percent of the battery just for uh, the drive which means I'll have about 50 uh, percent of energy as well just for the camp itself camp mode and um, I should be relatively safe not too sure I'll definitely keep my eye on the whole energy thing um, throughout the night and, and see how it is I'm not too worried to be honest because you know, it's, it, I think it's about 30, 40 minutes away from this under the city called Cochrane, which has a charger, not supercharged, but it has a char EV charger. Not to worry, but still don't want to be stuck there because I don't plan it well enough. Um, we're going to be there cooking, eating, chilling. We got, <laughs> we brought our ukulele. So we're going to be using that as well. And oh, we, I think me and Michael, because He's going to take out his Tesla as well, and he's going to try to sleep in it tonight. It's, it's going to be a fun trip. All right. Let's go, shall we? Let's go. about having a campfire here but it is pretty windy today so probably not look at that beauty got a little creek down there melting and there are cars what's up michael tonight we're gonna use that fire pit down there it's just hidden between the trees so it should help with the wind quite a bit the energy consumption so far. Look how dirty my car is from all the off road driving. Okay, so it's sitting at 66% now. And if we pull up the energy chart over here, I still have about 238 kilometers left. 
<laughs> That's a little dangerous, but we shall see tonight. So now I'm gonna set up my air mattress. I got this air mattress on Amazon. Apparently it's a Chinese company, but on Amazon, um, I think it's destined for Tesla Model 3 and Y. And uh, the price is about 70 bucks. It comes with a pillow support. So um, not sure if you know what I'm talking about here, but there is a gap between the passenger, like the, the, the rear seat and the driver's seat. So usually if I just have a thin air mattress on it, like when you lay down, your head will be sinking down. But this one, the pillow support is very stiff. So it doesn't really do that, which is awesome, which means I don't need to be putting anything underneath of that space. So, uh, let's set it up, shall we? you can see let's bring you in closer let's bring you in with me this right here with the pillow thing I was talking about so I didn't, I didn't even bring a pillow because this thing is definitely stiff enough and like uh, bulge out enough for a, a pillow and yeah this is it let me show you the view though. So this will change later because I'm going to move my car. But Model Y doesn't have that center uh, piece where it blocks everything. So I'm going to be able to see the sky tonight. Ooh. Not bad, hey? And this is my sleeping system today. There you go. Let's let's start the fire up. Michael brought his uh, his new axe. He got on the line from Pakistan. I had to refinish it. Refinished it, including like sharpening it and all that. Show him the axe. Had to add a wedge. Yeah, because the head fell out off. The first day. <laughs> Look at it. He's actually selling them. You have like what four more, five yeah, more? Yeah. And how much are you selling them for? Twenty dollars. 200? 20, okay, put a zero after that. Yeah, it's 100 bucks. Pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. Sick. Now, because today is pretty dry, so I have no doubt the fire is going to be pretty easy to start. Just gonna make it smaller pieces as uh, kindlings. There's a lot of small chips, like uh, what is it called twigs, on the ground. So technically, I don't even need to do this. I just we have time, so why not? <laughs> Alright, so I've got these stacked up and I'm gonna be using these uh, cotton balls with Vaseline. Open it up a little bit. More surface area for it to burn. That actually catch on fire super easily. Way easier than birch barks. So, you can try this. That was so fast, man. Yeah. <laughs> <heck>? Professional. <laughs> I didn't even catch it. I do this for a living. <laughs> oh no? It's so fast. To kill it? <laughs> we do. Blow it out. <laughs> we decided to start cooking because uh, it's pretty cold. 
be really windy. Yeah, we're gonna make hot pie. All right, that's the gnocchi mushroom, some fish tofu, and the soup bait is saute, right? Uh, some sort of hot pot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we put a meat in. Just gonna let it boil a little bit more, and gonna take it out. Or else it's gonna it's boiling way too too strong. All right, I'm gonna try. Princess, leave it. It's very hot. Oh yeah, fish tofu is done. Yeah. Hmm. Chopstick would be a lot easier. Look at that. Hey, gnocchi mushroom. <laughs> wow. Do you get enough? I got some. Okay. I'll get, yeah, I'll get that. I mean, there's, we have a lot of mushroom. Yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's a lot. Round two. I got vegetables. What is it called? Water press? Yeah. And uh, beef again. We have some lamp for later. Can't wait. Oh! Woo! This is our last round. Last round with udon. <laughs> we had like what, five rounds in total? Yeah. <laughs> so much food. Mm. Oh man. So good. Hi, right, princess. I have to uh, put her in a car right now because it's, it's really cold outside. It's so windy. You can probably hear it. Precious! You're so cute. <laughs> Me and Michael are just chilling in the car right now because it's pretty cold outside. <laughs> We're gonna chill until uh, weather is okay outside. The wind's tied down. Alright, so. While we're waiting, let me show you this real quick because right now we're in the back country where there's no reception at all and um, I was wondering like what I can still control. So if you look over here, you'll see that the vents, flash, honk, start and these guys, they are not working. You can still lock and unlock your car, but and you can also open the trunk and the trunk but that's about it. You can't control your climate here either. So if I go out and I go to climate, um, I can't do anything about it. You have to do it in the car. We're out. 8 p.m. right now, I got the fire started again. Oh man. Oh, the wind died down, so it's good. Gonna chill out here now. Okay, so it's it's 9.43 right now, as you can see over there. I'm gonna start the camp mode now. It's at 64%. Let's see, I don't wanna add auto. I wanna add, let's go with two for now. Okay, uh, this is fine. Let's see what else. Uh, so this here is a passenger seat. So I'm gonna turn that on. Oops I'm gonna turn that on because I'm gonna be in the passenger seat. So I'm gonna turn that on I'll keep it down here. So it doesn't take that much energy hitting up everything Where's the temperature though? Car will stay on the battery reach 20% century mode blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. oh, over here. So I'm gonna keep it at 20 degree. Eh, let's go with 18 I'm okay with 18 degree because I have my sleeping bag. All right, so 60, oh, 65% all of a sudden, but more like 64 and then 944. So let's see tomorrow morning where this is at. Good night, everyone. Woo -hoo. So I know I said we're gonna go to bed, but just wanna show you this real quick. When you have it on camp mode, Tesla will have this kind of campsite on the screen for a couple minutes before it turns off. And uh, let me just show you real quick. Oh, we are not sleeping because I don't think you can see it, but right now the amount of stars in the sky is insane. So we're out taking a bunch of pictures, hoping uh, I don't kill all the batteries before we go to bed. Let me just show you where he's at. 
There's Michael. I can't even see him. What the heck? There he is. All right. Yeah, he's taking pictures of his car now. But yeah, I'll, I'll put a, I'll put the photos in the video so you guys can see how cool it looks. Uh, but with that being said, good night, everybody. Oh man, good morning. Good morning. It is now 7.15 and uh, I just checked the batteries. I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, let me zoom in a little bit. My battery is at 54% and I've been keeping it at um, 20 degree auto as you can see on the screen. Um, when do we check? When did we start last night? 9.40 something? So just about 10 hours, a little less than that, 9.5 hours, and it took about 9%, 10%. Well, that's not bad at all, hey? Ooh. Okay, okay, princess. And uh, check this out, man. Oh, check that out. Ooh, here, let me open it up. Where's my phone at? Open up my trunk. Ooh, look at that. Those are the bounces. Oh, Jesus, it's cold. I'm gonna close it and put on a jacket. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get up now. You see that light? Wait, there you go. You see that light? That light is amazing. Princess's medication. Her eyes, her eyes, her ear, her butthole, her eye, her butt. All for this one. Whew. Snowing a little bit. How was last night for you, man? Well, I used, I put climate at 22. So I was very warm. <laughs> I wasn't that warm. 20 degree wasn't that warm. Yeah, I woke up. Part way through, I wasn't even using the blanket. I was like, oh, oh really? So nice. <laughs> and then I woke up in the morning and my battery's at 36%. <laughs> <laughs> when do you sleep at? What was it at? Oh. I had my climate on for a while. Yeah. You like, don't know what you, like when you went to bed, you don't know what the battery was? No, I, I, don't, I didn't check. Probably 60. Probably around there, yeah. So you took 20, 26% away. 24%. 24%. And I, but 20, I went from 65 to 54. Yeah, so yours is good. That. Yours is good. That's crazy. You're, but yeah, 22 is definitely not like it, it's more comfortable than I need it to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine was like, like as long as I'm under the sleeping bag, like blanket, because I open it up and use it as a blanket. As long as I, I was underneath that, I was okay. But if I reach my hand out, I feel like, ooh, that's cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it did a lot better than I expected. 11% for yeah, 10 good. hours ish. That's pretty good. It was about negative 3, negative 4 degree last night. Last time I checked, the coldest was negative 3, which is 7 o'clock. You guys saw that as well. But pretty sure overnight it was colder than that. So maybe negative 4, negative 5. I just call it negative 4. <laughs> but ooh, flurry's coming down pretty hard. Um, Alright, so let's <laughs> talk about the good and bad uh, that I learned from sleeping in the Model Y. Uh, yesterday. Let's go with the good first. Um, it's definitely comfortable, way more comfortable than uh, sleeping in the air mattress outside in the tent. That's just like, you know, you can't compare. The other thing is that uh, the view from the car. Oh yeah, could you see stars? Is, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. could see some stars. Yeah? yeah. It was, it was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Sick. Like, <laughs> I'll just open my eyes and like, oh man, I see everything. I think Model Y, I, I do think that the big difference between the percentage is because Model Y has a heat pump. And also, like he said, it's because it's newer, has better insulation, which definitely makes sense. Because um, we're talking about 20 something percent compared to 10%. Yeah. That's a big, di that's a 100% difference. Yeah. And it, it, I, I don't know. I don't know why. But. Um, 2021 Tesla Model Y definitely had a big improvement on that. Negative five, negative four degree overnight. At 20 degree, it took away 10%. That's pretty good. I was kind of driving it around last night to take pictures and stuff. So definitely took away some batteries there as well. 
I guess that's it for good. Now let's talk about the bad stuff. Well, same with the good stuff, you know, with the view and all that. The bad stuff is that there's no privacy at all. We're good right now, or today, because it's back country. We don't have any neighbor campers. It's fine. But if I take it to provincial park and then there are people around, they can definitely see me. I don't have those privacy screens yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll get them. Other thing is the, the noise of the fan. The noise from the fan overnight is it, it's quite loud. Like, I can sleep through pretty much anything. So it's not really an issue for me but if you have like you know my friend Wes he can't sleep through anything so if you turn that on he can't sleep for sure like it's loud I do think a solution for that I didn't try it last night just because I don't want to like turn on the screen and all of that stuff but I think one of the solutions is probably keep it at one fan like level one fan but uh, turn up the heat mm -hmm. so like turn it up to like 23 24 maybe 22 and then just keep it at low uh, level one Fan. That might help because last night it was noisy. Every time I turn, because I'll be like sleeping on my side, so I'll cover my ears, so it sounds better. But every time I turn, it's like, like what the heck, man? It's so loud. Third thing, I do think the screen turns off way too slow. Yeah. It takes like ten minutes for the screen to turn off. It's not a big deal. I know it doesn't like take ten percent to keep the screen on, but. It, it, it takes a while. It took a while for the screen to turn off. I mean, it go from the regular control screen to campfire screen and like after a couple minutes of that, like maybe five minutes of that, and then goes to the, the off screen. So it, it, it took a while for that. I think that's it. Everything else is pretty damn good. Um, Princess loved it for sure. She's still inside because it's <laughs> cold outside right now. It's like negative three degree outside with the snow. So I don't want to take her out because it is cold. Definitely gonna try somewhere further next time. Let's see how I can manage it. But if I wanna do a backcountry in Jasper and I wanna sleep in the car, that could be an issue. Yeah. Because Camor gets 100%, let's say, and then Jasper will probably take away a good 50% of that. Right. Yeah. Unless I can find a place with EV plug, then that might be an, that might be a solution. But without an EV plug. I don't know if I can sleep in the car in Jasper and then drive all the way out to Canmore. Not sure if that's possible. But yeah, gonna try something like that next time. Anyway, um, thank you all for watching. I hope you, if, if you're like my friends who are just watching it for camping stuff, I hope you enjoy the whole cooking and all that stuff. If you're here for just, uh, if you're here just for the Tesla um, camp mode, I hope you learned something here. Um, you know, we have a 2018, we have a 2018 Tesla Model 3 and a 2021 Tesla Model Y and you see the comparison between the two. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. Peace! Yeah.